guys today i'm gonna show you guys my 2021 f-150 that i just bought shout out to auto nation for giving me the best price uh, i went to other dealerships and uh they didn't really want to work with the price auto nation i gave them a price they gave me a price and it was just back and forth giving each other prices till we worked out the right deal and i love that shout out to you guys um thank you for the truck um let's get right into this video let's go all right guys here's the truck i really love the headlights guys this is the one thing that made me fall in love with this truck oh my gosh i really love those headlights it's not even on right now so it's just the leds are on because i unlocked it but it's really nice i really love it uh, maybe in the future i'll change out the grill and the bumper to like more sporty in the future um i just want a new truck guys i wasn't like really looking into like a sport truck or anything one thing i'll probably change out will be the like the the tires and get more beefy tires and maybe like a two inch lift on the truck and maybe get the rims like professionally like painted black because if I plasti dip them, I'll look crappy over time. So I'll just get them professionally painted. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see in a later video. But yeah, I really like this. It also has a... Let me show you guys the key fob real quick. This is what the key fob looks like. If I double click here, it opens uh, the back tailgate. And then uh, it has lights in the back. Three lights. It has a button right here to uh, turn it on. It's a 400 watt power uh, outlet. I like that. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but like camping or something. Just wait till you guys see the inside. There's a button right here to lock and unlock. I think that's probably a standard nowadays on all cars. But yeah guys, there's big things coming for this truck later this year. It's gonna take me some time to save up, but I really fell in love with the lights and I don't I honestly don't think the truck looks bad in chrome I think this is the only truck right now in the market that looks good in chrome honestly if not let me know in the comments and I think it looks cool this uh, like area I picked to film it's like a little nice there's like a canal right there there's a park over here somewhere I can hear people playing soccer, but yeah, I really like I really 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 like this truck guys And it is my first brand new truck ever There's the rims I think they're 18s, but they're, they're gonna get swapped out maybe The only thing I don't like is the little steps might get a visual them later on. There's a 5.0 coyote right there I forgot to show you guys yesterday, so I'm showing you guys here at home it's really quiet. It doesn't even sound like a coyote. I, I uh, when I first turned it on, I, I thought it was one of the EcoBoost. It doesn't make no noise at all. It sounds electric to me, honest. But that will change later on with the new exhaust. Let me know in the comments down below what exhaust I should put on this later on. All right, guys. Here's another feature. I don't know if I showed you. It has like a remote start, unlock double click did you guys hear that v8 i got the 5.0 in here guys truck so I don't want to floor it just yet maybe later on I'll do a real 0 to 60 Alright guys, this is what the inside looks like. I really, really like this inside. I think it looks amazing. I think it kind of looks like a te like a Tesla on the inside. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I got some GoPros that I was trying to film with and they didn't work. So 
I'm about to use my phone. I'm not sure what's wrong with them. I barely even use them and they're just freezing up on me. I don't know. That's a complaint for a GoPro. And uh, yeah, look, this has a couple modes. It has sport mode, eco, tow, slippery, and trail. But my favorite has got to be sport. I just like the way the gauges look. The gray. I don't know why I'm getting so bad uh, fuel economy. I know I got the 5.0, but I don't think it's supposed to be like that bad. It says I'm supposed to be getting 17, but it might be like breaking into the engine and stuff. So yeah, this is what what the truck looks like. Like the screen, you got the audio. You can pick different sources here, here. And then there's like Android Auto, or navigation, apps you can install, other features. This is my favorite at nighttime. You can turn on like all the lights. Boom. But I'm gonna turn them off right now because I'm not at home. But I think that looks pretty cool. It also has uh, these are the buttons. It's a little dirty right now, guys. But yeah, really love this truck. As this this thing is huge. But yeah. Sorry for the quality, guys. These are like normal standard buttons on every car nowadays. But the audio is not too bad in here. I know it doesn't have the Bose or anything. Guys, here's what the back looks like. Um, if you go camping, you can actually sleep in the back. It's nothing. It's flat. You can sleep out here. It might be You might be curled up, but you're going to be able to sleep. Or if you go on a road trip and you're just feeling sleepy, you can just knock out here in the back. Here's some of this. I think it has like USB ports here. AC outlet. There's like a light so you can see it at nighttime. I was like for your tools right there too. So yeah. I really like it. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This truck will have its own channel. Link will be in the description and also its Instagram. Um, so yeah, go check out. It's going to be a progress guys. It's going to be a lot of stuff happening to the truck. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.